Welcome to Cavaline Productions Plus, I'm Matthew. Recently I was asked a simple question. How do I get audio source, like we've been talking about, how do I get audio from my computer, be it my Mac or my Windows machine, into my X32 console? Now, it can be done a few different ways. At its simplest form, you could take uh, an eighth inch jack, like this one here. Classic, like we found on our Walkman in the 80s. And we can convert that to RCA. And we can plug that into our board. We could also convert it to mono quarter inch jacks. Put that into our board. Or we can use the always uh, fun XLR cables. Notice we're using two signals, left and right. It's a stereo image. Uh, some computers, especially newer ones, might not have that headphone jack. What do we do then? Well, I would suggest this really cool USB direct box. You'll run USB out of your computer, head into this radial USB, which by the way is a tank. You can throw this across the stage, it'll still work, and then head out XLR. And you can also sum in the mono, so you don't need to do two left and right, uh, but I kind of like the way it sounds. This is gonna work great for obviously a computer, but maybe you're a, a keyboardist and you're using Main Stage or Ableton and you want that stereo image of your piano. This is a great option for you. But the simplest and easiest way to get audio from your computer to the X32 is with a single USB cable. And I'm gonna show you how. Before I even start uh, prepping my computer, I wanna prep my board to accept the source, the audio source from either the laptop or the desktop, whatever you're gonna be sending from. So I'm gonna go into this X32, I'm gonna go into its routing section, and I'm gonna make sure I'm in input because I'm bringing in source input, and I'm gonna go into this aux area, and actually it's already set to card one and two, and I'm gonna connect. Perfect, it's set up. One and two, beautiful. Now, I'm gonna go into uh, the board side here and I'm gonna select auxes one through six. And I'm gonna unmute channels aux one and two. Now, if you notice, my faders are not together. And we're doing a stereo signal here, folks. So I'm gonna link, I'm gonna actually pull my faders all the way down and I'm gonna go into that channel, aux one, and I'm gonna link. Do you want to link aux one and aux two? I'm going to confirm, yes I do. Now, anything I do to one and two is together and that's what I want. Now, let's head over to the board. Oh wait, one more thing. Here's a little trick. In this last section of auxes, this section here, seven and eight, it'll say, yeah, USB. It's not USB from the from a computer. It's actually USB from this data port right here. So don't let that confuse you if you're looking for audio to get into the signal because it's not gonna ever show up here. Once the audio is playing, we're gonna use gain and make sure it's gained into the, into the board properly and we're good to go. If you're using a Windows machine, you're gonna need to download the X USB audio driver from Behringer. You can find that on their downloads page. I'm actually gonna put a link in the description to get you right there. Once you download it and install it, you're good to go. So you're gonna head down here into your audio settings, click, hit this arrow, and you're gonna search for Behringer. If you notice, we have seven through eight. We have one through eight. We have three through four. You can use all of those. They're all gonna work for you but I'm gonna make it super simple and I just wanna use out one and two. Once that's done, I'll hop back into uh, Google here and find a really cool YouTube video. Press play and hopefully audio will be coming out. Uh, today's subject is gonna be unique. There it is, I hear it in my headphones, working like a charm. And that's it. If you got anything out of this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help me. Until next time, keep rocking.